Cocaina Loca here, and welcome to Maniac Book Monday. If you don't have the notifications turned on, go ahead and subscribe and turn the notifications on, and let's dive into this speed build. Hello, and welcome to The Sims 4 Maniac Build Monday with yours truly, Cocaina Loca. <laughs> I am building a Victorian style vampire and witch nightclub so as you can see here we're getting into the build i'm starting out with the base of it how i want the center of the shape kind of going into more of a very victorian style so it looks like maybe it used to be an old mansion and it was renovated into this beautiful nightclub instead of a residency i kind of wanted to give the feel just for the vampires and stuff because when I go through Oasis Springs or I go through any of the other worlds inside of The Sims 4 with all the game packs that I have, I don't have a bar that is very appealing to vampires or to witches. So I decided what fun would it be to build a Victorian style kind of like nightclub hotel for vampires and witches and honestly you guys it really turned out amazing this build is available on the gallery so I hope you enjoy the gallery and enjoy you know everything on there <laughs> you know I have a lot of builds on there I just started posting them about two weeks ago and I just started doing streams the other day and I'm really really enjoying it I'm starting to get the hang of it you guys so bear with me um I just now I've been working all day since I woke up on this actual recording of the build so I could process it into a speed build I had to finish the build this morning because it wasn't completely done so once I finished it I started doing the um basic you know basically just editing the video and getting it together for you guys I really hope you enjoy it so let's jump back into this build as you can see I've given it a big wrap around kind of porch we've got that Victorian style build coming along it's not really done yet so it's looking like whoa what is going on here this is kind of a mess but hey you know when we get into the builds we get into the builds so this is what it is today um Another thing that I really, really um, couldn't figure out for the build was like what color I wanted the outside. I knew I wanted brick, but I knew I wanted dark, but I knew I also wanted some, some, some browns and some woods. I wasn't really sure. So you will see like it jump into like a whole different build because where I edited it, like see it's starting to change now and I went with more of a darker scale color because my house is actually next door to the nightclub. So you may catch glimpses of my house but I built the other Victorian style house which is also available on the gallery so it's really nice. It's uh it's over there in that area by the bridge over there. I kinda incorporated some um custom content um debug items you know, not really custom content though, because I don't have mods. I am on a PS4. I don't really have mods. So, and you know, I want to get mods so bad, but it's like, uh, do I really want to spend a lot of money on a computer just so I can have mods for The Sims 4 and then I have to repurchase the game and all of the game packs again? No, not really. <laughs> not really, you guys. Not really. So as you can see here, it's starting to come along. We're getting a roof put on there for the porch. I didn't do a complete wraparound roof, which I probably should have, but I, I didn't. I didn't. I like the way it turned out, so. Can't really be too bad about it. It actually turned out nice. As you can see here, we've got... The roof's coming along. I had to make some edits. See, as you can see, I just jumped into like a new roof. Um, I had to make some edits on the roof because I was not feeling it. I didn't really like it. I was like, no, we got to do that. See, we just jumped into a completely different color scale. And then we're about to jump in. I'm doing some of the terrain right now, adding some of that um, more off the flattened ground feel. Like it's built into kind of like a 
stone hill or something, you know, we're adding a fountain in, getting it some prettiness, you know, making it kind of better. I was like, forget it, we're about to go back inside and we'll work on the outside later. So we're gonna get these little bathrooms together for the nightclub. We got the male's bathroom, we got the female's bathroom, we got a bunch of little knickknacks and stuff. We've got flowers and little, you know, just everything you need and just, you know, up up pretty much like a public restroom almost some mirrors and stuff for the ladies and for the gents like I didn't really give them a separate building but I did give them two separate bathrooms with two separate doors a king's door and a queen's door so that way they know the difference between the males and the females restroom but they're still kind of in the same area but they have their privacy that's all that matters is they have their privacy so they don't get embarrassed you know we got to add the cracks and stuff to the wall kind of like add that to it you know get that old theme going put some pictures up there wanted to make it even on both sides oh my god i love how this bathroom turned out oh it's so cute as you can see here we re rearranged the middle the middle area uh we did like a sunken kind of we did like a half sunken floor and then we did the rest of the way raised up i really love how that turned out it's like the dance floor in the vip section we got a bunch of little vip stuff going on over there we ain't got it in there yet but it'll it'll pop in there in just a minute um right now i'm building the bar the bar looked amazing although it did kind of um annoy me the bar kind of annoyed me because i was trying to get that really um bar filling to it i was trying to go for um kind of like the one of the build one of the base game builds that they have in the stylized rooms i was trying to go for that i was aiming for it but i was also trying to keep that victorian style too so you'll see me add all of the gate and everything else in all these little oh little bar stools they're so cute I love those bar stools they're like my favorite bar stools I don't know why like I just I love them so much I think they're the best ones and then you know we added we fixed the gate we fixed all that made it smaller so you know it's not looking like a cage because for a second it was looking like a cage like I didn't mind it but then I was like no let's make that a smaller fence and add that one <laughs> getting a little kind of like kitchen kind of area together we don't want to do over, we didn't want to overdo it so I just did like a small little kitchen area behind it that way they could like um basically you know cook some food and hire a hire their self a caterer and stuff to cook and everything so get them cabinets in there I really love how this looks it was really nice um I put some candles in there. It was kind of boring and kind of blank to me. Even though we have that really pretty nice um, fancy wallpaper with the bats and stuff, I wanted to add a couple little paintings, make it a little bit, you know, unique. Add these cute little, I love these little light wall lights from the dine out pack. They adorbs, I love it. Just, it, it fits so perfect right there on that wall. And then, you know, we added these little bubble walls in. We was trying to make sure that it was all even, so we kind of just laid it out like that. When you add the little uh, lattice things in the back, it looks so cute. So I was like, let's do that, you know. Gotta add the bar stuff, get the shot glasses and the glasses in there since it is a nightclub, you know. This is, I, I love this. It, it kind of, you know, I'm kind of inspired by a nightclub that I used to go to when I lived in Cincinnati. Oh my gosh. It was called Pulse. Well, it was called Pulse and then they changed the name to Club Energy. It was one of the best clubs in the world. I swear in Cincinnati, I used to go there all the time from the time I was like 18 until I was like 21. I used to go there all the time and it was just it was the best one. I mean, I kind of got inspired because they had this big kind of like DJ booth and um, kind of like dance floor in the middle and they had these VIP sections. Like it doesn't look exactly like this because it wasn't a Victorian style building. It was just a big brick building that kind of looked like, um, it was just a very big brick building. Like it was very ugly on the outside, but once you got inside, it was very nice. So this, this was kind of inspired by that, um, that building that club I used to go to it's not exactly the same there's big differences but there's some things that kind of like give it that that vibe club energy vibe <laughs> maybe I'll change the name to club energy 
<laughs> that's funny oh my gosh if anybody's from cincinnati and sees this video and y'all know what video y'all know what club i'm talking about uh, Goats are not there for me because I miss it there. So now we're working on the VIP section. This is the VIP area up in the top. We don't have a DJ booth and stuff. I would have put a DJ booth up there because, like, that's how it looks kind of in the club. But, hey, you know, we went with a VIP, couple VIP sections right there instead. You know, threw them together and made them really nice. Put the dance floor down there at the bottom, you know, so they can get the groove on down there. But they could also listen to the music up there on the dance floor. Yes! And then you got that staircase that right there in the middle that goes downstairs to the basement. And that's where, like, the hotel area is. It's going to be in the basement because you got to think. It's for witches and for vampires. And you know what? Witches can sleep in a damn coffin, too. <laughs> <laughs> they can sleep in a coffin too like humans can sleep in them mermaids can sleep in them so you know what we we just got you know because i mean it is in forgotten hollow so i just included all basically nothing but coffins as the hotel area and it is called the um vampire hotel so i mean vampire nightclub hotel is what it's called but you know gave it a cute little runner right there because i felt like it was just so it needed something to take up the space there and i didn't really want to put any objects there because it is a dance floor you know so we got these lights going in to get the dance floor groove you know we got that going on it looks really nice i love it we put some on the outside of it as well that way you know i skipped through that on the editing part sorry you guys but yeah you know now we're going in here this is going to be like a little den area this is where they can sit and chill out like they don't really want to you know because we at the at the club we had an outside area and since i i mean i did a small patio but there was also these like areas up, you know, where they were like kind of off to the side by themselves. And, you know, we just kind of like gave it, you know, that, 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 that vibe, you know, where you got like a little section off to the side where you don't have to really worry about drink. Well, you can drink, but you ain't got a party. You don't have to be on the dance floor. You can just sit and chill, have some conversation, you know, etc. I'm adding these little mirrors and I feel like that really added vibe to it. It looks so nice. I love it so much. It looks so good. You guys, my boyfriend is trying to call me right now and I am doing this video recording for you guys. So, um, I there's some time left uh, I really want to explain the build to you but you know I might have to answer his phone call if he calls back again and if so I might go silent for a little while and that's why um, so here as we can see here I'm doing the basement the coffins downstairs getting them together um, you know I only did a few of them because I don't feel like you know a lot of people would be staying there because it's basically a nightclub but there's also a hotel part like I said you can check in basically like with the bartender like hey I'm trying to get a coffin tonight <laughs> I'm trying to practice some sorcery downstairs I'm a witch you know I'm trying to get my groove on I'm just gonna you know chill out in there tonight I'm not going home you know we got some shelves going on I put a bunch of crystals up there for the um witches and stuff you make sure if you do download this lot on your gallery you do have the move objects cheat on that's how i'm able to lift those crystals and get them up there on that shelf because some of them just don't and won't go up there <laughs> so i had to cheat them in there like that um i cheated a lot of stuff in here honestly um but it's all functional that's all that matters it's all functional like I did a good job okay so over here we got a little day of the dead kind of worshiping area since I was like this is kind of like a witch's slurry over here kind of we got the little so we're gonna put like a little altar and stuff for the witches and you know vampires can go there and worship their deities and stuff too it's just amazing so we got a lot of vibes going on in here you guys a lot of vibes but I like I said I kept that main that main old you know, run down, renovated, maybe used to be a mansion, maybe it used to be, a, um, 
torture house a haunted house anything you know could have been anything and it just got renovated into a nightclub a wealthy nightclub owner bought it and was like hey we're gonna turn this into a nightclub and we're gonna add it to our chain of nightclubs and we're gonna make it awesome for vampires and awesome for witches just to come here and hang out and they'll never have to worry about you know not having a place that they can really call their own beside home you know this is could be their like their home away from home you know you know it just it just I just love that having a home away from home is like the best thing because then it's like you find solitude obviously I wasn't using the same windows so I went back in and fixed that but you know it's like you find solitude in an area that's not really your home I put a little hidden bookcase door there that leads to like a little vanity room um, you'll see that in just a moment we're coming very close to the end of the build you guys I'm really enjoying this I really enjoyed this build this build was very fun I got kind of really inspired and I hope this really inspires you guys to you know maybe even go in and if even if you don't want to make a build you're not a builder you know but you maybe you're a renovator you want to go in and maybe renovate it and make it more modern and add it to a different lot or anything you know you could you could definitely do that it's it's on the gallery it, oh gosh i love this i love the whole vibe upstairs so upstairs we've got like basically like a chill out room we got the because you know we got the hotel so we wanted to get the computers we wanted you know how hotels have the computer room and stuff so we wanted to have a computer room get a bunch of computers in there with a bunch of pretty lights you know kind of not too much just just you know because that's how it is in a computer room there really isn't much in there but computers and maybe a couple lamps you know so I was added that in a, a little bookcase in the back you know got it looking really nice it looks really nice you guys say it doesn't oh my god it looks so good I'm so proud of this build like my builds are coming along very well and they're just I feel like the more that I build the better I get and I've been playing the sims and doing builds and stuff since I was like I don't know like 15 or 16 maybe younger than that since the sims one and I I think it was like 14 the first time I played the sims I don't know but we added some rocks from the magical world and also from the um vampire world you know in the back just to go with the landscaping I kind of cheated those into the landscaping as well you know got a little sitting area there I love these chairs I feel like they're just so vampire and I just I love it you know we got that pretty fountain over there and it's glowing with magical colors you know got a couple cauldrons around you know getting it getting it together just making it absolutely appealing to vampires and witches like this right here I would never want to leave this would be like my second home if I was a vampire or a witch like besides the witch academy where you know in the magic realm where they have that big beautiful I mean it's kind of the build is kind of booty and I pretty I was going to do renovations today but you know what I really 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 wanted to finish this build and re finish recording this build and get it done for you guys and do a speed build just because this is my first speed build and I wanted to test out how it would come out and I know it's not very you know fast I mean it is because it's as fast as I could get it on the share factory but it's um it's still 26 minutes long and that's because I couldn't get to where I could just keep making like clips anymore like I kept having to go in and delete small clips and I wasn't really getting the clips so I like ran out of space to do clips because you only get a certain amount of clips so we just sped these up we sped them up and tried to fix it in there as you can see we're getting the outside together we're kind of making it giving it that kind of like magical kind of swamp kind of vibe like it's not a swamp but it's also like not not like your normal area that you see around well I don't know you kind of do see this not really though not these flowers and stuff well not really I added a little pizzazz in there put some grass in there you know made it look more realistic like I feel like the more in depth you go the more stuff you add the better it gets like yep as you can see here I cheated those in too into the landscaping I love doing that I love being able to cheat them things into the landscape that is so cool like 
because now it just like it really flows into the world I really feel like it just flows into the world and it looks really nice and I really like being able to flow everything into the world that's why I said you need to have the move objects cheat on make sure you have that on before you place this lot um, I also did change that window that big window in the front I didn't like the color of it so I changed it to this it's like the same one but it's a different uh, swatch of it we went to um, like the black one with the, like the kind of like heart design on the front you'll see it when you go to the gallery and you, you look at the, the the finished video I think I might have included that in the finished video as well I'm not sure though right at the end but we are getting to the end of the build we're working on the outside the inside is done the place is almost ready for vampires and witches to come and do spells and have vampire fights and suck on the blood of the humans well uh, correction plasma the plasma of the human sims that you know are willing to offer it up and those who just aren't willing to offer it up but ended up having to comply with the demands <laughs> oh gosh oh, gosh I love the dark the dark theme and the dark world that they've given us to play in in the sims it's very um magical and it gives us more depth it gives us a lot of depth I'm very pleased with the sims now what I'm not pleased with is let's talk about this real quick is that new update we just got what in the world was that <laughs> because I really don't feel like you know I don't feel like this was a good update it, it I mean I love the fact that they really celebrated the Spanish culture and they gave us a lot of Spanish culture item, items and new food and stuff but there is a but and that but is they did not work on the the swatches really for our skin tones I really don't see much of a difference I don't see anything changed really and it's kind of messed up because we've been playing the sims for six years now and you know we would love for everything to look absolutely more realistic and more um have more uh gosh representation sorry you guys <laughs> Uh, so as you can see I went in and finished up the upstairs I kind of put in like a dining area you know so that way you know because it's a hotel so gotta have the little dining area got, like I said we got the vanity area too so we got to get that together got to show you that um, it will be coming up very soon get some lamps in there because I just used one of the um, base game builds style rooms from the magic realm and basically like what I did was I just placed it and then I copied the color that I wanted instead of using the color that they had and I moved everything around pretty much like and gave it its own little vibe so I do that sometimes like I'll, I'll like the, the style of the room and I want to hurry up on the build and I'll be like okay this room really doesn't matter so let's just give it one of these pre-styled rooms that match the theme we have going on but you will see me go in and edit those chairs because I feel like they should have the vampire chairs now we're adding this is the vanity room this is my favorite room it's so <gasps> pretty like we got all the makeup and nails and stuff nail stuff we got the makeup stuff oh my gosh and the perfumes and the, the lotions and the, the the body stuff like it just uh i love it so much you guys like this the vanity room is like my favorite room i feel like it turned out so great like you know women can go up here and get away prep get ready for their date if they're early because women are usually early and men are usually late you know if they didn't show up or maybe they want to they just got off work and they want to hurry up and go prep and get ready for work or something I mean go get ready for the dance floor they can definitely go in there I even put a little wardrobe in there so they can change their styles I put some I put a bathtub in there just in case they're you know sweaty and stinky from work you know just got it all together this is perfect you know it's it's the dream bathroom for a girl the only thing is well actually you know what my dream bathroom does not have a toilet in it my my toilet would be in a different bathroom like it would be a half bathroom type thing and my dream bathroom would just have like just like a big jacuzzi tub and then a shower like one of those ones that are like that you got a, all them showers coming from everywhere oh my god with the glass and the walk-in I have some pictures of me in on my Instagram at official underscore coca underscore loca 
and um the pictures of me basically in that shower it's just so oh my god I was in a mansion it was just so dope okay but anyway so we're back to the build we're finishing up we're adding some lights outside it looks so pretty I am loving it I'm loving the vibes it looks so great so goth so so ancient it looks like it's been there forever it looks like oh my gosh like this is just perfect for witches and perfect for vampires I just felt like no oh, there was nothing there was nothing for them and now we have something for them you guys and it's just perfect and I added these little gargoyles they were just so cute and I didn't like where that one was at so I kind of moved it yeah that thing we moved it and we moved the other gargoyles to the front because it looked way better in the front <laughs> I think it looks so much better I was gonna put one there I was like nope never mind we'll just get rid of it boom so now we just got three boom I just love it look how nice it looks see I changed the window in the front it looks so much better now that I changed the window in the front you know now we're gonna go in and give it its name give it its lot name give it its traits and stuff like that um I did make um clothing optional <laughs> for this lot just because you know hey this is a nightclub this is for adults and if they want to um if they want to run around naked they can do whatever they please we changed it to vampire nightclub hotel and we gave it the vam the vampire traits and we gave it a great music trait and we gave it the clothing optional trait and we called it a day i hope you enjoy if you like this video, leave me a like and go ahead and spam me with comments and subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on. Also, check my music out on Spotify and Apple Music, Cocaina Loca. Brrr.